what's up tribe thank you for being here and welcome to my channel this is a general reading for leo sun moon rising and venus we are using a mix of the enchanted map oracle with the good tarot both by cadet baron reed for this reading leos when i start when i was this was me starting a reading i'm like whoa 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 i mean this first of all the sun strength two of water which is the two of cups and fortune's wheel wheel of fortune how could you ever be here watching a tarot reading i was like spirit i don't see how they need me until the last card came up 45 this and then I was like, oh, I see, I see. This reading is going backwards because for the fortune wheel to turn, he has to get up, get up, get up, get up. Why are you being so blue? Stop being so blue, okay? Life is all about change. Get with the program. <laughs> Get with it. Get up. Get on your unicorn. And, you know, jump on that fortune's wheel to your two of cups. I could just see it now, you know. He jumps and the he just jumps for long enough to turn and then he's here. Just one jump, one leap, but get up. Whatever's making you blue is probably all in your head anyway and you need to be here you need to muster the strength enough strength for you to stand up in this nice sunny sunflower filled field and receive your coronation the sun wants to gift you with something the sun wants to crown you. Let it get out of this dark mood that you're in. Stop being so blue. And uh, be the sunny Leo that you are. This tells me that, you know, she has this cheeky smile on her face because she knows she is the sun. So she she's not worried about anything. This this card always talks to me about uh, it always comes off as a high priestess and not so much as a queen of swords queen of air this is so connected with your intuition with your connection with your higher self that you know you know that all as well you know it's all hunky dory like it is here in the two of water just a smooth harmonious relationship The seven of fire, this unicorn, is all about personal best, going the distance, per perseverance, and non-conformity. He, he says, I'm unstoppable. My passion pushes obstacles aside as I engage in sustained effort. I know how to bend, but I don't compromise on what's most important to me. If others, don't, if others aren't happy with the course I'm on, I don't have to let their concerns affect me. I release the temptation to resist challenges and I trust that I can make things happen as I live life on my own terms. Inspired solutions present themselves. But nothing's going to present, even if things present themselves, sitting like this, is you're not going to see it. So get up, get up, get up. The sad embrace says loss is a part of life. Let go and allow time to heal you. You may be entering into a period where loss is a theme. Perhaps you're having to let go of a long cherished dream. If so, take heart for this ending may have been for your highest good. A better and more powerful dream will be realized in your life if you can accept the loss. Relationships based on faulty foundations are meant to end at this time. Disappointment is a form of perception. If your expectations weren't met, a sense of loss arises, along with sadness and grief. Express these emotions. Tears are like healing rain that can store life. 
to a parched inner landscape. Growth is always assured. Whatever the loss, however great it is, let go and experience your feelings so that you may soon see what beauty lies ahead. And with this, I'd say there's some beauty lying ahead. So stop it. Cut it out. That's all I have for you, Leos. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.